one. I hope you're as excited as I am to use Google Classroom. I just wanted to show you really quickly um, some tips for when you're using it. So you can either search for Google Classroom or you can type in classroom.google.com and then all you need to do is type in your username and password which has been shared with you already. So when you do that it will either take you to this page and if that's the case you just click on your year group or it will take you to this page. It's different for different devices. Um, and what you'll see is you'll see it says stream and if it's a stream it just means that you can see messages that your teacher has posted so it's either that you've posted a new activity for you to complete or that I've posted um, a link to help you or a message um, and you can just click on the things that I've sent and it will help you. So in this case I've put a little section here to help you if you're stuck on Google Classroom and if you click it it will take you to the St Matthias website which is all about Google Classroom and it tells you if you need any help what you can do. Okay so when you're on this page it says stream but you can also click on classwork and this is where you're going to see all of the home learning that you need to complete. You'll also see when it's due down here if you look there. So on classwork you can see that this person is in year 5s and their homework for the 20th of November is listed below. So they're going to have to read, do spelling and handwriting practice, IXL for spag and maths and also do some writing. So you can click on each individual one. So reading, I need to read one piece of fiction on my own and complete a review and then a quiz. And if I click here it takes me straight to my own and then I can log in. If I click here it tells me which spelling words I need to practice. For these two, it will take me to links for IXL and all I need to do is complete the things that have been starred by my teacher, same with maths. And for writing, it's a little bit different. It links you to a Google Docs document that you can actually type straight into, which means your teacher can see what you've written. So just here, it'll take you here and then you can write what you need to do. So I need to write a letter to someone in year three explaining the importance of staying safe online and I can type my letter dear students of year three and then I can carry on writing my letter and then it saves automatically so you can see that it's saved there for me okay so if I complete my activity so I'm going to my reading I can view my assignment and when I finish this so when I've read one piece of fiction and I've completed my review and then a quiz, I can actually mark it as done. So if you want to add any comments, you can put them here. So you can put it as um, a document. If you want to get rid of the document once you've made it, you can also press the X. I can add um, some drawings. So if I want to do a picture of the book that I've read, I can click on drawings and it will create it for me. And then I can click here and I can use all of these things up here to help me with my drawing. So I might want to draw some shapes, I can draw a character, I can draw their face, um, I can change the colour, so I might want a purple face, you know, and you just carry on doing that. And it saves automatically, you'll see it says save to drive, it's saved automatically so I can close it. So I've done this, I've maybe submitted a picture if I want to, you don't have to unless your teacher's asked you to. And as soon as you've finished, you click hand in. And it says one attachment will be submitted for read, so I can hand it in. And then later on if I think, oh hang on, I didn't want to hand that in, I'm not finished, I can just click unsubmit. So it's up to you what gets submitted to your teacher. You have to finish and click hand in, otherwise your teacher will not know which work you've done. So I'm going to hand this in and then I can go back, so I can click back here, classwork, I've done this piece and I know I've done it because you see it's kind of greyed out a little bit, it was dark grey, now it's light grey. Right now I'm going to do my spelling and handwriting practice, view assignment, it says I need to practice these spellings and write them in my neatest cursive handwriting, so I'm going to practice all of these. And actually it says I need to practice in my neatest cursive handwriting, so I'm going to use some paper at home to do that. I don't need to add anything, I'm going to mark my work as done, and it says I didn't attach any work for this, 
So my teacher will just see that it's done. And that's okay because I don't need to submit any work. So I'll click mark as done. And then I can go back, I finish that work, go to classwork. And you'll see that it's light gray again. So I've completed two parts of my homework and now I need to do the rest. Now for writing, it's asked me to write a letter to someone in year three. So I need to go into the work that my teacher has set me and then I need to mark it as done. Or you can add or create and you can create your docs and then you can mark it as done. But it's really important as soon as you finish your learning, you have to mark your work as done. Now something you will also see, if you click back on an assignment, it says that you get 100 points. That just means if you have finished your learning and you hand it in and your teacher is happy with your learning, they will give you 100 points for that piece of learning. If you don't hand it in, if you don't do your work, or if it's not up to a good enough standard, you'll get zero points. So you'll either get zero points or 100 points. And then as soon as you finish your work, you're done. So all of this stuff's already done. Obviously I need to finish these, but you might have finished your work and then as soon as your teacher sees it, then they will start to mark it. So in your writing, for example, they can write directly into this letter. It might be that they see that you've drawn a picture for your reading and they can make a comment on your picture. So that is how you access Google Classrooms. And actually the main important thing here is you've got your stream, which tells you any extra information and then your classwork is there. But I'd like you to have a play around and if you have any questions at all, you just need to let me or your teacher know and we can see if we can help you. I hope you enjoy using it and I hope it helps you with your learning.